Hey guys, Bad Girl Mystic here. I'm sharing you with today my studio setup that I've got going on for Beltane. That is Darla. She cracks us up. We swear she's a reincarnation of our dog, Jiva. Because she just see the little habits and things she does. We say, Jiva was 90 pounds, so we joke around that Jiva always wanted to come back as a lap doggy. There's my dobby doggy sunning himself. He's like, go away. I'm. So those are my familiars. And I, for those of you who are new, I live in an RV. And yes, believe it or not, this is a dream come true to have a mobile a house on wheels. Uh, got my altar set up, got my little altar lights. Uh, because I do have a brain injury, I'm very careful about candle safety. So I tend to use plug-in lights more than candles all day. I only use candles and tea lights for special ceremonies. There's a picture I found of my mom. Mother's Day coming up. I've been missing her and I found that in storage. So I was pretty stoked. Spotify, I've got my daily mix on there. I've got, um, I always make a little food before I do any craft work. Uh, it's very grounding, offering. I only have one cup a day. I came to a conclusion that the second cup is never as good as the first cup. So my treat is that one cup a day. And my husband and I, we will eat peanut butter and jelly. We will eat rice and beans, but we will never, ever, ever um, go cheap on our coffee. So if you only have one cup a day, you make sure it's the best cup of coffee with all your favorite um, ingredients. So. I eat organic, I'm vegetarian, so that's what's important to me. That's a plant eggs in a tortilla with a little bit of cheese and hot sauce. And like I said, I've been missing mom. I grew up Mexican. I'm a, I'm a mixed baby. And uh, so scrambled eggs and a tortilla with a little bit of hot sauce just screams childhood and home for me. All right, so I've got everything out. I've got my magical planner to the Beltane page. FYI, Beltane's a huge, huge, huge celebration for me. I am born on the Beltane. I am the May Queen, damn it. I am the May Day baby. I have a piece of salt stone for earth, for root chakra. And my goddess stone, because we're diving deep into Mother Earth Goddess. I have a clip. A little rhinestone shoe clip. My mom was a Libra. I joke around that she was a Mexican belle, like a southern belle. Um, she loved her bling. So that's, to me, the she magic and ancestors. And here's my citrine wand. We're moving into, on May 1st, the third chakra cycle, which is also known as the solar plexus chakra. I call it the power chakra. So I've got my books out. Um, this is what I'm currently reading, Becoming Supernatural, recommendation from the artist and spiritual seeker Alexis Raccoon. I have been into quantum healing. I'm a big fan of Deepak Chopra. I've had many great, great personal experiences incorporating holistic healing in my own work. I've got um, Solitary Witch from Silver Ravenwolf. This is my big book of... Um, reference. Now, this is for teenagers, and I didn't realize it, but I love this book, and I love the straightforward writing, so uh, that was quite a nice surprise. Uh, there's a Celtic Cycles book that I'm working with that talks about the wheel of the year that witches use and how it corresponds with the chakras. Then I have my own, um, what I call my witches formula, how I like to work my magic, and some of it is based on the magic that Amy Cesare puts in her in the beginning of the wheel of planner and then I have my goddess card I picked for April and my seed cards I picked for the new moon so once again before I go into coloring I'm gonna set my intentions for the Beltane and I like to look at what she suggests and so I like to do all my cerebral prep work ahead of time so that the, when it comes the day of, I can just dive into the energetic feels I'm getting within myself and Mother Nature. And then here are 
my abundance of toys and color that I use to color with. All right, and this is my little daily planner that I track and write things down in. Anywho, um, there's my timer. One more thing. Quickly, I'll go this way. Instead of you seeing the fridge, you see the Chihuahua cam. Full circle. Back to the coffee and food. This is my new mindfulness tool. Um, with someone who has trauma, I tend to fall into what's called, I'm having a little tremor. Um, I haven't even drank my coffee yet. Um, what I call trauma trances. And I tend to go into the creative brain, but there's a lot of tension attached to the creative brain. I talked about this in the last video. Just old memories and things like that. Seeds that I am currently working on in my own witchcraft and journal work. So anywho, what does the timer have to do with it? So what I have been doing, so I can start to get an idea, not so much pushing myself to get a task done by a certain amount of time or a block of time, but just setting a timer so I have an idea of how long the task is taking me. So when I go to plan um, and put in my calendar what it is I want to get done today, I have a realistic idea of how long it takes for me to do something without being rushed or the focus of rushing through it. All right, mwah. peace out and uh, have a great day, you guys. Blessed be.